everybody. Well, Christmas is almost here, and on today's episode, I'm going to be doing an almond petit four. Now, petit four means small, petit, and four means oven. So, something small that comes out of the oven. It can also mean at a lower temperature, because old ovens in France used to really crank out the heat. You bake your breads earlier on in the day, and then as the temperature went down, they do their smaller confectionery items. But also, you know, when you go to a party, there's little canapes and little appetizers and whatnot. Those could be considered petit four. You have savory ones, you have sweet ones. So on today's episode, I'm going to be doing a sweet one. No flour in it. And it can be done in 15 minutes. So even if you can't have a big gathering at your house, it doesn't mean you can't have foods that you'd find at a big party. Anyways, let's go. Ho, ho, ho. And on today's episode, we're going to do almond petit four. So first, we're going to need 50 grams of toasted ground almonds. We're also going to need 5 grams of cornstarch. We're also going to need 50 grams of butter, which is at room temperature. It can't be cold. We're also going to need 50 grams of granulated sugar, 1 egg, and 2.5 mils of vanilla. For equipment, all you're going to need is a mold and a piping bag. You can improvise as you like. Also, remember, don't fill it all the way to the top. Just go three quarters of the way. So first step is we put our room temperature butter into the bowl of a mixer. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add our sugar to the butter. From this point, we're going to beat the sugar and the butter together until it's light and creamy. See, starting to get there. Once it gets to this stage, we add an egg we continue to let it emulsify. We don't want any big lumps, so don't be afraid to push it down every now and again. Once it's gotten to this light creamy stage, we add our cornstarch. Then what we do immediately afterwards is we add our ground almonds. Now remember, periodically take a spatula and push down all the ingredients on the side that haven't gotten into the bowl. Finally, we add our vanilla extract you could even add dark rum or coffee liqueur, and you'll get something that looks like this. A light brown mixture with a fantastic nutty aroma with just a hint of vanilla coming through. So we take this, put it into our piping bag, and then you just follow the form of your mold. Pipe around the outside edges, working your way inwards, and remember, don't fill it all the way to the top. It's gonna expand. So we preheat an oven at 350 for 15 minutes, and then we get these little golden cakes that come out. It's one of the quickest desserts out there. They are extremely moist because of the nuts and very flavorful. It's a real treat. You can eat them as is, and believe me, I have, and I've gone through quite a few, but there's other things you can do. It's Christmas after all, so you can decorate if you like too. So here are a few ideas for garnishing. Right now, I'm taking a little triangle of parchment paper and I'm turning it into a miniature piping bag. Now this could be used for several applications. You could be piping in fondant, melted chocolate, jam, you name it. It's just another way of making it a simple tool to help you get that result that you really want. As you see, just wrap it around your finger until it forms a cone, fold over the edges on the top, and you got a piping bag. Then I melted a couple of squares of 85% chocolate, and I put it inside the piping bag, you can make a design. You can write somebody's name. You can go abstract. Choices are yours. Just remember, it's all up to you. Now, for some of you, you might say, well, I prefer a textural contrast, and you could do that too. Here I have some praline, which is basically caramel and nuts that have been cooked together and then crushed. And this adds a nice little textural element, a nuttier flavor, a little extra sweetness. So I just put it inside of a little circular cookie cutter on top, put a hazelnut on top, and you have an instant garnish. Or, as in this example, I painted on some of the dark chocolate, followed by the praline on top, and a simple hazelnut. Petit four are really remarkable little treats that you can have at Christmas time. It falls in the spirit of good French food, hospitality. They're simple to do, they're very quick, and they taste awesome. Merry Christmas, everybody.